Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another vlog. Uh, we are in Christmas month and uh, guess what? I just found a new friend. She has travelled here for 3 months and uh, I'm not gonna tell many things about her. So I've just come to Lola Cafe. You know Lola Cafe very well through my vlogs I'm sure. Uh, it is a cafe near Rivera so we decided to meet here. We have come and then we will speak about a lot of things. She's interesting, she's different and let's start with today's vlog. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I was talking about her. She is Kanya. Welcome to Abhichan Kanya. So you see her name is Kanya. How did I meet her? A funny story behind it is one day I was just on my Instagram and I saw someone's status saying Kanya Kali. It is exactly an Indian name. But then I saw her face and it was like Indian. She she looked like an African. So I thought, okay, why? I like why should not just check her profile? And I was checking her profile and I saw she's not an Indian, but her name is Kanya Kali. So I thought probably she's an African mixed Indian. So I was very much interested and it got me curiosity to check more about her and this is how I messaged her and then I got to know that she's not an Indian, she's an African. So uh, that that was a small funny story about how I found her. And today we are here together. She's a YouTuber, she's a traveler, she's a lawyer and the rest of the things we will ask her just now. So Kanya, how are you feeling? Like you are in Abhijan. I'm sure that uh, it, it is like an adventure for you. So, can you just tell like how how you started all this, like traveling alone and all? Yeah, just speak about it. Um, so it's been a journey that I've wanted to take for many years. I have it's been ten years, and I thought that I'd travel Africa through working for a company and they send me to another country. But 10 years flew and that wasn't happening. Mm -hmm. So I decided, okay, I want to I want to take this into my own hands. I had the opportunity to travel for three months because I was working from home during COVID. Yes. So because I was working from home, my manager said, okay, it's cool, you can work from wherever you want. So I traveled to the bar. You took this advantage. I took advantage of yes, so, so, yeah, after that, I decided, hmm, I'm not stopping this. I'm traveling. It's fun, right? It's fun. And, and it's all something I've always wanted. So, there I am. The wow. second country where I'm spending my next three months. And yeah. So, before this country, where were you? So, before this country, I was actually at home. South Africa. Okay. So, I went to Gabon and then I went to Gabon. Okay, Gabon. But other African countries I just visited like on holiday. Yes. You know. So you really started like traveling properly, spending three months or four months just recently, like right? yeah. after COVID. Literally. This year. So you, you are traveling alone? I'm traveling alone. Alone without anyone, anyone. Without anyone, anyone. Wow, that is quite interesting. So how do you plan your travel? Like if you have to go somewhere, you just have this in your mind that you have to explore this country. So how do you plan yourself and what arrangements do you do before you even travel? Okay, so what I try to do is I I try to go to countries that number one speak French, I'm learning French. Mm -hmm. Like many people don't go to. Mm -hmm. Um like I know many people want me to go to Tanzania, to Zanzibar, Kenya. Like there's a lot of people that go there yes. already. There's a lot of footage. Yes. So I like to go to countries that I've spoken about a lot, or that have a reputation. You know, like people will say, "Oh, I don't go to that country because of this," or "Don't go to South Africa because of the crime." You just want to go break there. that stereotype, exactly. telling people that it is not this that exactly. people are showing to you. You are here, so you can prove that. Exactly. In fact, it is because same. what I'm saying actually is that you need to balance because. Yes, it's true. Some of the, the things that I said are true. But what about the other side? Why are you only showing negative? Because people are living here as well. Exactly. Yes. And they're living for so happy lives. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. So uh, that's why like, I was thinking a lot of time that I would 
invite many of my Indian travelers. They should come here because all of them they start with West African countries, but they leave Cote d'Ivoire. I'm so happy that you're here today. So, how are you managing with the language? Like when you go to a taxi or you go to a restaurant, are you finding it a little bit difficult or funny? It is, it is difficult, but it's good because it's teaching me, it's yes. forcing me to speak the language. Exactly. So that's why I'm, I, I want to make sure that I keep traveling. Because traveling teaches a lot of things as well. Exactly. Yes. I can't have someone all the time just speaking exactly. Especially with the taxis. Like today, I had to call people, I had to call you. Yes, yes, yes. You know? I can understand. Yes. But how do you feel like here when you came here first time, especially in Cote d'Ivoire, when you landed here and now it's how many days that you've been here? It was over a month. It's over a month. So yeah, how is the country? Like are people very kind to you? Or uh, how do you feel about the people uh, of the country? Local people, I mean, not yeah. the expats. Yeah. Yes. Oh, definitely. People have been so friendly. I've met so many people. I've been to events that I've been invited to. Uh, people. Um, I'm still probably going to go to other events. Um, yeah, people are just always willing to help, especially when they can hear that you're not from here. Yes. Then, like, they want to help you and just they help you a lot. Right? Yeah, figure out what you want. And yeah, so that's been great. So, guys, uh, if you don't know, this country is very popular for hospitality. So, when foreigners come here, they don't feel like foreigners because they are so welcoming. People will not be rude to you, they will help you. Uh, as far as they can so that is the speciality of the country as okay. well so what about the food are you did you taste the local food here yes. <laughs> and what is your favorite food my that you would like others to enjoy as well my favorite food is a chicken with <laughs> with um chicken and peanut sauce wow that's my favorite food Wow, then you have already become an Ivory because <laughs> that's okay. If you're an eater and you would love, that means wow. <laughs> and so, I have, I eat it a lot. Too. And what about the sweets? Did you eat aloko, something sweet? Oh, sweet? yes. You guys have those sweet peanuts. Sweet the peanuts, ones, yes. Those ones that I cut yes, them. Arashit Sukre. Oh my word. I love it. I eat them so much. I, in fact, I stopped buying them because wow. I eat them too much. So, Tanya, something is coming in my mind just like this. So, how do you just fund your travel? Like, if you have to spend in a place for three months, that requires a lot of money, right? So, how do you arrange? Are you uh, like just staying in a small place, not spending too much of money in the accommodation? How, 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 how are you doing all this stuff uh, in terms of money? Yeah. So, traveling is quite expensive. Exactly. You know, and uh, getting that level of comfort that you want is even more expensive yes so in the country that i've traveled to i know people mm -hmm. here i know people yes oh, okay i i i have a friend in gabon i had a friend um so i've been i've been lucky and you know i've been so fortunate to know so many people across the continent but it's been deliberate for me from intention mm -hmm. to actually have friends from a lot of the country Yes. Uh, so when I get here for accommodation, for example, I'm sorted. Like, and the most thing that I spend a lot of money in is if one of my gadgets breaks down. Yes. That Transport, but accommodation. I, I when I what I could afford, I didn't like what I could afford. So I was like, okay, what's plan B? Then plan B is like, okay, cool. Go to countries where you know. Yes, I think that is the easiest thing to start with. To start with. Yes, then when I can afford exactly. whatever, then I'll be able to travel freely. But for now, I'm sticking to. Okay, I know this person here. I know this at least here. one. Yes, at, at least, least one. one who can give you information, yes. basic information that you need. And people are busy, right? So yes. we just meet one person and then they're like, oh, okay, cool, you can come stay at my. Yes, probably you can just help them in whatever way you can. Yes. And then 
they go about their lives yeah. and then you need to find your way around. Yes. And and this is how you get this is why you came here. Like not yeah. someone always being with you and yeah. directing you, but at least you have a place to stay. Yeah. And then you can explore things. Yeah. So that's mm-hmm. what I was that's what's happening now. Wow, that's quite interesting. Also if you're new here, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm an Indian living in Africa. Uh, West Africa Cote d'Ivoire and I share a lot of experiences travel and lot of other stuff in my channel